In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the head collision glitch and show you ways on how you can glitch by removing your head collision. Credit to Master Pop Games for finding this glitch. Their channel will be in the description down below. Hey, so before I start, I just wanted to let you know that this video contains a lot of valuable information that you might find very useful. So sit back, relax, and let's explore this together. We'll take one step at a time and make sure you get the most out of it. What is the head collision glitch? I would like to give Super Glitch 11 big credit for making this head collision document. What is the head collision glitch? Head collision glitch is a glitch that occurs when you write down R6 and get stuck inside or underneath the part, found by the Roblox lobbyist in Glitcher Master Pop games. When the maximum amount of time you can stay right dulled is reached, the game tries to bring your avatar back on their feet, and if there isn't any success after a certain amount of time, the game will remove your head collision to help. However, the game never returns your head collision until you reset your avatar, allowing for tricks like squeezing into two stud high gaps and climbing up upside down wedges. This glitch cannot be done in R15 due to the fact that your head already does not have collision. The image below displays what parts have collision in green and which parts do not have collision in red before and after the glitch is done. Ways on how to remove head collision. The first one, discovered by Glitch Master Pop, is when you put your head into a solid block just like this. The second one discovered by Super Glitch 11 is when you get your head stuck into the wall just like this. Now the best walls to do this is from 0.2 to 0.5, but it is possible to do it on one stud walls. As shown on this clip right here. The third method is ragdolling right under a part just like this and having your head right under it. So when you get up from your ragdoll, your head will go right into it and then eventually you'll go out of it. Now onto head collision clips. What are head collision clips? Head collision clips are clips that abuse the fact that when you jump, your torso loses collision for at least a frame. Superglitch discovered that you can do wall clips with the head collision glitch back in 2022, and found better and easier methods of wall clipping in January of 2023. The image below shows what your avatar's collision looks like on the first frame you jump, without and with head collision glitch. As you can see, when you have head collision disabled and you jump, none of your avatar has collision basically allowing you to no clip for that amount of time. However, this amount of time is very short, usually 1 60th of a second, which means you'll have to add specific tricks to use this to your advantage. By gaining on the truss just like this and freezing your screen and jumping, you'll be able to go through the wall just like this. With the head collision glitch, you'll be able to do leg clips again. If you combine this glitch with changing your center of mass with a dance 2 emote, you'll be able to go through two studs. This is what it looks like with head collision on when you're not doing the glitch. This is what it looks like when you removed your head collision with the head collision glitch. This is what no head collision looks like when you're going up an upside down wedge. And this is what it looks like with head collision. And here's the same example with the upside down wedge, but with a climbable part instead of a truss. Now when a truss is in a block just like this, if you remove your head collision, you will be able to touch that truss that's inside the block, just like this. Now a lot of different games will have their own ways on how to remove your head collision. For example, for a prison life, all you have to do is press crouch by pressing C and you want to freeze at the exact same time. After you removed your head collision, you want to grab any item in the game. I'm going to be grabbing this dinner plate over here and I'm going to press C, freeze my screen and press 1-2 times to change my center mass. Now you want to go up to the wall using sprint and jump into the wall just like this. Credit to Super Glitch 11 for discovering this glitch in prison life. Now here's some other head collision glitches discovered by both Super Glitch 11 and Master Pop Games. I'll have the head collision glitch document made by Super Glitch 11 in the description down below.